all right so i've got these uh calipers from w123 i'll be restoring them right now so i already ordered i don't have them today but i already ordered um uh the seals and all that stuff all the rubber basically the hardware for the uh caliper rebuild okay so i'll be uh also cleaning them all then priming painting all that stuff so let's do this i'm gonna flip it around this way not the other way like so and there's gonna be like four bolts that you have to remove they're 15 millimeter okay let's see i already loosened them so off okay so let's just remove these bolts yeah so these are the calipers that I picked up at the junkyard it's from 79 uh, 280e W123 chassis so it's gonna fit my future W123 because these calipers are all the same whether they're fronts or rears doesn't matter they're all the same okay so as I'm removing these bolts these two uh, caliper pieces are separating and I got left this last bolt This is the last bolt. Okay, right here. And these are both separated. The thing, these are two rubber washers, seals. They go right here. One here, one here. Don't lose them. And I don't think I will get the new ones in my rebuild kit. All right, so now I'm left with these two. Um, so basically, I'm gonna remove this uh, metal piece right here. Like so. I'm gonna be stuck on this thing. Almost out. Just gotta work this thing. I'm really stuck. After what, like 40 years of not being touched? I don't think these have ever been uh, rebuilt or something. I think these are just original ones. So, that's how these pieces look. So these are garbage. I removed the second one now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a compressor and try to pop these pistons out of here. So I'm using the blowgun. You gotta watch out. If you're gonna spray. As you can see, but as you can see, this piston is gonna go up. So it kind of moved. We'll see what's going on. Maybe it's getting stuck, but we gotta take them out.
Okay, so one of them came out as you can see. The others are stuck, so I sprayed the PB blaster. We'll see what's gonna happen. So what you have to do is you have to plug this hole and then uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my foot here so the piston doesn't shoot out and I will just put uh, the compressed air here and I'll cover that hole. As you can see I have one, two, three out so far. See we have a success. All of the pistons are out. Now we're gonna start cleaning everything. Okay, so now I'm just uh, removing all the old stuff from here. And uh, square cut seal, like everything, all that stuff. So the, I removed the boots, and now there's my square cut seal. I have to take off the black one. Alright. I'm gonna remove this thing out of there. There's my square cut seal. Okay. Now, as you can see, I removed the protective boot from the piston also. Now this bigger one it's the same thing basically it's gonna need a good cleaning and all that stuff. Now this one also has a square cut seal so let's take it off Another one. Right now it's time to clean the pistons. They're not so bad. So I'm gonna use 2000 sandpaper. I'm just gonna go around and clean this thing. Like so. You don't have to do a lot of cleaning here. If yours has a, a lot of rust, then yeah, you do have to. Okay, let me clean a little more here. So, so both uh, pistons are pretty much clean. I'm just gonna clean this a little more where the boot goes on and maybe from inside so it looks nicer. Now I'm just going to clean these surfaces where two pieces meet together. Just so they're smooth. Now I got to clean all of this. I'm using a thousand grit sandpaper for that. But again, it all depends how much rust you have. Just cleaning this stuff so the piston can move freely in there. After that, I have to clean the place where the square cut seal goes to. So I'm using just a piece of paper towel and and my pick to move this thing around like so okay so I cleaned the bores and all that stuff okay so it looks I'm gonna probably put it in a parts washer I don't know 
but I just want to mainly make sure that everything is smooth all the surfaces everything and it is smooth okay so now what I want to do I want to clean this right here and just basically clean the pistons like the surface here and on the side using the wire wheel so I cleaned this piston as much as I could right here looks almost like new using this wire wheel now this is the other one that I have to clean so I'm gonna do this now Looking much better already. Alright, so I cleaned all of these uh, pistons. I'm gonna clean this uh, thing right now from all the rust. I'll prepare it for paint. I'll be ready to go. Okay. So I cleaned these up as much as I could. Prepared them for paint, all that stuff. I already cleaned the inside, everything. I blew all the dirt uh, with the blowgun. So now I'm just gonna mask a few places off and I'm gonna put the primer on. I'm gonna paint this side and then after the primer, I'll wait and then I'll put uh, um, a regular uh, base paint. So everything is set up here, paint this side first and uh, actually I'm also gonna mask the inside, the bore for the piston, I don't want to paint that and uh, after that I'll be using this primer to paint this thing. There you go, I masked the inside, the bore so nothing is gonna get there and uh, I'm preparing to put the paint on. Alright, so I put the first coat on this side, so just the primer, I'm going to wait and then probably put another coat and then flip them. So now just flip them and I'm going to paint this side, and exactly the same thing and then uh, after that I'll wait until it dries and uh, put the normal uh, paint on it. Just put the coat right here. Now again same thing. Have to wait. Yeah. We'll put uh, I don't know which color I want to paint these. Probably just uh, <clears throat> universal. So just like they come out brand new. Uh, which is like silver or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I want to paint them red, but yeah. So these are my calipers, fresh after the paint, after the primer. I mean, now I'm gonna be painting them. I still didn't remove the masking tape from the back side, so now I'm gonna try and paint them. Okay, so here's my setup, and I'm using this paint. I'm gonna paint these calipers, and uh, yeah, and then uh, after I get the the rebuild kits, I'm gonna start putting everything back together. So now I'm just gonna paint these, and we'll see how it comes out. So first coat is done. Waiting for them to dry. 
and then I'll put the next coat. Flip the calipers, and again, same thing. Gonna paint them. Okay, first coat is done. Okay, second coat is done also. So, this is what I got. Got these rebuilds finally. If anybody wonders, Centric Parts makes them. Okay, if you ever wonder. So, I got both of those. And uh, these are actually nice, so they include the square cut seals, these uh, metal shims or whatever, and then the um, rubber uh, boot, and also they have uh, they have those uh, round rubber things right here, which seal, uh, so basically they, these seals, they seal the, both, uh, you know, caliper pieces, so like I was telling you about. So, okay, let's just flip these around, so I'm going to peel these off, let's try this, so these seals, okay, it's going to go on this side, so I peel it off, let's try, okay, so they, they go right here, basically, in these two spots, and they, uh, um, they make sure they prevent any leaks of the brake fluid so this part like I was telling you it goes like this but first of all I'm just gonna take all of this off all the masking tape and everything remove it from over there my bore I already cleaned everything so try to keep it clean this is the second one okay then this stuff right here around like so Trying to peel everything off. This piece. We opened this kit. So these pistons are basically the same. So you don't have to worry about mixing these pistons. Okay, first, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install the um, square cut seals in the bore. I'm using the, I don't know, it doesn't matter which one, but I'm using the DAT4 brake fluid. I'm going to put a little bit in there, lubricate the seal, make sure your hands are clean. Just going to put some brake fluid. With my clean hands, I'm going to rub the bore, lubricate everything, and all that stuff. Make sure everything is lubricated. Okay. Okay, so I just installed the square cut seal. Let me show you. First lubricate it before you put it on. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna move on to the piston. Alright. Here's my seal. I put it on already. <clears throat> and uh, of course, now you can put lubricant right here. So let's see. Just gonna lubricate this thing, the piston, everything. Do it again. Like so. Everywhere. Around. Alright, and now we're almost ready to put it on. Now last time, let's try lubricate that thing. So, let's take our piston. I'm gonna put it over there. Like so. So you're gonna have to put this piston in. After you put the square cut seal on, all that stuff. Then you're gonna need the rubber mallet. Tap it in. And then uh, now I'm gonna put this seal on. So it goes basically... Let's see. It's gonna go like so. Okay. So there's one lip that's gonna sit right there. All right. So now we can push it back. Okay. So we can go a little more. Okay. Now. Just make sure the seal is like sitting on the top right here, straight. All right. And final is gonna be this part. So this part for this smaller caliper piece, this one goes basically like so. This facing to the left. Gotta sit flush. Just have to work with it. Start binding here. So if it starts binding, you can take it off or try again. You have to be really gentle because this metal is not strong. If you bend it, you can break it. So here you go. This is basically done. I'm gonna put the two O rings right here. First, I'm gonna lubricate them. So, let's do that. Okay, one sits there. Alright, now. Get the second one lubricated. Oops. The second one goes into this spot. Okay, so just leave them there. And let's move on to this piece. Okay, there's another piston. I lubricated it already. Square cut seal is installed. Now I can just push it there. With the help of this dead blow hammer. Yeah, that's in now. And then uh, again, fix your seal here. And then at the end, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put compressed air, make sure everything works. So the, this piston goes in. It was like kind of hard for it because you have to put more like brake fluid or something. But once it's in, it's gonna move, you know. So yeah. Okay, as you can see, so it looks now. Now again, 
gonna put this metal piece. Piece goes in like so. Now I have to either push it down or use the mallet to help you out. As you can see, it's all flush and nice here. Okay, so now what we can do okay, this is garbage. Here's my basically one caliper. Okay, and we can connect them together now. Okay, so let's do it. <clears throat> Taking this big piece. So, I have to put the bolts through now, so basically if I let it go, it's gonna fall off. So let me put those bolts, four bolts in. Okay, so let me put three, fourth bolt. Also, I didn't tell you about the bleeder screw. I already put that in, but it's up to you. You can put it later on or something. So, now I'm just gonna run these bolts through and um, tighten them down. And another thing that you have to watch out for is when you put this thing back on the top of the other one, watch out for those O-rings. Make sure they're staying in place. So, let's just round them down. Okay. I'm going to use a ratchet now. These four bolts, this uh, bleeder valve is tight. That's it. So, one of the calipers is rebuilt with uh, new seals and everything else and then uh, I also have the uh, hardware here but usually you get a new one when you change the brake pads all that stuff so yeah and then I'll finish these two and uh, we'll be ready to go okay so this is this is my final result of these two calipers as you can see new parts everything else yeah so that was basically the rebuild of these calipers and uh, restoration I hope the, you did like this video um, and uh, yeah subscribe to my channel and just stay tuned I'll see you next time